Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Inner Empress and you're here at Inner Empress Readings. So today I'm bringing you a requested pick a card reading on who is watching your social media and why. So I have four piles for you to choose from. Pile one, two, three, and four. Take a moment, pause the video if you have to, and see which pile resonates for you. And when you're ready, you'll find the timestamp in the description box below. All right, so for those of you who chose pile one, let's find out who is watching your social media and why. All right, so this is why. This is who. And this is a message to you from them. So, who is watching your social media? Energy healing. You are seeing the situation accurately. And why is the Queen of Swords? I feel there's a few different messages that just jumped through. So I feel like for some of you, something with your health, somebody's trying to see if you're really sick or really um, hurt or something. Like maybe you couldn't go into work for some reason and somebody is trying to keep an eye on you and see if that really is the case. For others of you in pile one, something with someone you had a falling out with. So this person is trying to see if perhaps, you know, there can be some type of healing that takes place between you. Um, I feel like for someone, as I was just saying that, something where you may have saw something from this person, like they could have said something really nasty about you or... Um, Hmm. I don't know, maybe you even said something nasty about them and they found out. There's some type of truth that was revealed. You you found out, somebody found out the truth of a situation. And I feel like this person is watching to see if, you know, the situation can be healed between you. For some of you, I feel like there's somebody who maybe is into spiritualism could be like a yoga instructor could be a reiki um i don't know somebody who does reiki or or something there's some someone someone in regards to the spiritual community who is watching you clarify this person is watching your moves. I feel like this person is trying to study you. So you might be into the same business practice as they are. And they see that you're doing very well. And they're trying to like copy your moves, study your moves, um, see what new ideas you're coming up with, what new deals you're offering. There's something in regards to that. Someone trying to watch you closely. Now the message, we have Flyleaf and the song is all around me so you may be feeling like this person is constantly all around you and there's a horn that's bumping right now so i don't know if for some of you you felt like somebody may have done something in regards to your car or been hanging around your car or something but that's coming through for somebody specific but um definitely getting a sense that this person has been watching you uh, watching your social media definitely watching your moves especially for some of you who have been traveling I feel like this person has been watching like where you're going and what new thing are you doing your adventures and something like that and I think it's important to point out that we have Egypt coming up twice here with Horus and then with the page of wands there's pyramids in the back so Egypt could be important in regards to some of you, maybe Africa. Um, also, when I said that, I, I heard long distance. So for some of you, maybe perhaps somebody who is not close to you, it could be someone that you met overseas, could be someone that you met and then um, you two had to split ways. But I feel like there's somebody, you know, definitely in regards to some of you, this, this will resonate with you if you happen to know that person who is watching you. And I feel like they're looking at as much of your social media accounts as possible. I don't know where the ruins are. Um, 
I don't know if that's I don't know where that is but like the stone like Stonehenge or something like that wherever that is is coming through could be Ireland I don't I don't know if that is the specific spot but something like that is coming through Be careful with the ideas you post on social media. I feel like for some of you in this pile that this person is trying to steal your ideas. I also get a sense of somebody trying to study your ideas, study the way that you think. Trying to learn what it is that you like. And that doesn't have to be a bad thing right then and there in and of itself, but um, somebody is definitely, for some of you, trying to purposely figure out the way you think, trying to study you as a person. For some of you, I also feel like something with an employer. So if some of you have like applied for jobs recently, please make sure that your social media is private because I feel like your employer is looking you up online and trying to find as much about you as possible. And that could hurt your chances of getting hired. Also, with me just saying that, I heard fired in my head. So some of you, you might have a coworker or somebody at work who's purposely trying to look at your social media and see what you're writing and is trying to find ways to get you fired. This is very specific, so it's, it's not going to resonate with everyone. But for somebody, you entered into some type of competition, um, something like that. And I feel like wh whatever competition you looked into, whatever competition you signed up for, that they are actually looking at your social media. I feel like they're... I don't know, something with judging your influence, like your reach, trying to see how many people you reach, something like that. And I don't know, for somebody, I just heard fitness in my head. For someone, um, I think you put up possibly religious scriptures or quotes, like motivational quotes, um, could be little poems that you put up or something, but you post something um, of those, uh, something like that. And this person is secretly motivated by you, but has not come out to tell you. So I'm getting a sense that for whoever I'm talking to right now, that whoever is watching you, um, this person, I guess you would call them like a lurker. Like, I think they follow you, but they just don't interact with your post at all and it's like they're so inspired by you but they don't want to show that love in any type of way but i feel like this is somebody that when you meet them in person they're always very like hey you know like really oh my god like i'm really supportive of you whatever i don't know why i just adopted that voice but we're gonna go with it but um they really try to act like they're supportive and yet they just watch you from afar and they don't support you when they could you know on social media but it's like they're inspired by what it is that you write and you do motivate them but they just don't want to share that and like i said for some of you, you might have an ex that's around you watching especially if you've kind of moved on or are trying to move on could be an ex-lover, an ex-friend, um, a family member that you're estranged from. I feel like there's some type of somebody trying to evaluate how far you've come like since you two have kind of distanced yourself. I'm also getting the feeling of someone's partner so like it could be your ex's partner, like new partner or something looking at your social media. And why is to see if you've had any type of communication with that partner that you're no longer with.
Whew. Yeah, so it's a lot of different energies that are coming through. Like I said, please take only what resonates. Um, also, for some reason, I'm very drawn to Anubis right here, the Jackal. So that might be specific for someone, but I just wanted to point that out. Yeah, just, you know, be careful what you post. Because I feel like this person is really studying you. Like whoever you are in group one, whoever chose group one, whoever is watching you is studying you. And it's like they're trying to purposely learn things about you. They're trying to purposely learn how you think. They're trying to gather some type of information. So um, I just heard divorce in my head. So for some of you who might be going through a divorce, be careful what you post online, especially if some of you are dealing with something legal. Um, if you were hurt, like going back to those of you who I sense, somebody's trying to see if you're really hurt. Be careful what you post online because I feel like somebody's trying to catch you in a lie. Thank you so much for watching Pile 1. If you liked the video, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I definitely read all comments and I do try to make it my business to respond back to all comments. Um, please only take what resonates. You know, I channel for a lot of people, so there are going to be certain things that pop through that it just has nothing to do with you. And that's absolutely okay. Um, please just take what does. If you like a more personal reading, I do offer that in a variety of topics on my Etsy shop. So you can find the link for that in the description box below. But yeah. And if you would like to look at the reading, I had another requested reading before for who's jealous of you and why. Um, you can find that in my channel, so that might be of interest. But until next time, I'm sending you lots of love and light and positive energy. Take care. All right, so for those of you who chose pile two, let's find out who's watching you and why. So this is who and this is why. Okay. All right, so right off the bat, those of you who chose pile two, the person who's watching your social media is somebody who is lusting after you. So this could have been an ex-lover. This could have been somebody like who was just a fling, somebody who you may be flirting with and have feelings for, um, or you may not even like them. This person is definitely watching you. And with this Ace of Cups here, they're watching because they have a crush on you or they can be in love with you. It's like a surge of emotion. So this person could have been someone you dealt with. It could have been an ex um you know an ex-partner somebody you you were married to at one point or were dating or whatever the case is we're not looking in necessarily to your connection with them just who is looking at you but somebody who loves your body who finds you very sexy very desirable you might for some of you be a dancer might be a belly dancer some of you just putting it out there might be strippers but um definitely someone who is watching you and lusting after you it says, be honest with yourself. What is your heart's true desire? And so this is divine passion. Now, the song, the message that they want you to know is Ed Sharon. And it's photograph. <laughs> so this person is definitely looking at your photographs. I feel like this person might even be screenshotting some of your work. Um, you know, they might have photographs of you if this is someone you have dealt with. But this is somebody who is definitely deriving some type of pleasure from looking at your pictures. And that can be in many different ways. Um, you know, I'm channeling for a lot of different people here. So I don't want to necessarily say what this person may do. But there is an energy coming around for some people in this pile of this person kind of like masturbates to you. I'm seeing that in the explosion of this volcano and in the eruption of this cup so i feel like this person is very turned on by you and they might even save some of your pictures to masturbate to now this does not relate to everyone and i just want to point it out there if there are any underage you know watchers watching you know you should click off i don't advise that you watch this and that message i'm definitely not channeling that you know, for underage people, I actually channel more for adults, but I'm just putting it out there. For some of you, there there's some self-pleasuring going on. They, they think you're really sexy. You might have actually given this person pictures. And if this is someone that you haven't necessarily um, had sex with yet, like you have an inkling of who this is, but you haven't had sex with them yet, then they're definitely desiring you in that way. And, you know, just looking at you, they love what they see. Let me see if we have any additional insight. Okay. Um, this is also a jealous energy here. This person may see that you have like a lot of 
suitors, potential people who are like always complimenting you, people they think that they have to stand up against who might want your attention or have your attention. Maybe you have a large friend circle and they feel like, you know, they can't get close to you. But this is a very, um, very guarded, like, uh, yeah, very guarded, protective, defensive energy. Now, I will say that this could be a partner. This could be someone you're involved with now. And there can be a healthy dose of them just feeling, you know, protective in some type of way because of the fact that they see how people respond to you and perhaps the type of um, images you post on social media. But there is definitely a possessive energy that's coming through here. And once again, this could be an ex-partner or somebody that maybe you necessarily haven't given the chance to yet. And they feel in a sense like, like other people are admiring you. That's really coming through. Other people admiring you or other people have a chance and they just really feel defensive. Like beating them off with a stick is coming to me. <laughs> And if this is your partner, if this is someone who you actually are dating right now, then I also feel like your partner is trying to see if there are like any threats, you know, to your relationship. Any exes or anything hanging around. Also for, and this might be very specific, but for some of you, you might have gone to Hawaii. So that could have been something that they're looking at, like vacation pictures from Hawaii. Um, for others of you, you may have done some type of traveling that deals with like a waterfall or like some fountain or something. Uh, I feel like they're watching pictures of that. And moving away from a sexual aspect, if this is not a person who is necessarily um resonating for you as sexual then i can see it as a person who is admiring your passion for life admiring the fact that you get up you go where you want to you travel um you're not scared to like it just really looks to them like you're just living your best life and they almost live vicariously through you through photographs by what it is that you post now i do feel like this person um is a little jealous i, I get like a little sense of that uh, because they feel as though that they too want to be able to do that and perhaps they can't but i feel like this person admires you so if it's not a sexual aspect which for a lot of you i really do feel like it's sexual for a very small group of you i feel like it's not and this person is just inspired by you and sees you like going out there and doing all these great things and you know just living life and experiencing all types of stuff you know there's definitely just that energy of your photographs are really important to this person you know not necessarily saying that what you write doesn't matter but they love looking at your pictures whatever it is that you're posting they love seeing it so if you post mostly food if you post mostly travel or if you post mostly yourself i'm definitely seeing that this person really loves um looking at you and for someone specific uh, you might be a fight choreographer or something like that. You deal with stunts or something. This person loves to see things like that. So they're really inspired by what it is that you do for your job, especially if it does have something to do with like fighting or uh, martial arts or something. So that's coming through for somebody specific. And something with massage just came through to me, something like with hands. So I don't know if for someone out there, something you post has a lot to do with hands. Like maybe rings or, um, I don't know, maybe somebody's a hand model or something, but like the hand, I'm really focused on the hands right now in this picture and this picture. For someone specific, something with activism, I feel like you might be an activist and this person loves your passion in regards to like fighting for, could be the environment, could be um, social injustice could be sex workers and like um just women's bodies or just uh something like that i feel like it's very specific but if that resonates with you that's for you but i feel like you know there's someone who's watching you in regards to that because that's what you post and they love it 
I don't feel like this is somebody you don't know. I feel like this is somebody you do know. And this person definitely gives off like an energy of admiration towards you. For some of you in this pile, I feel like it might be like a childhood friend or like a close friend who is watching. And they could be either jealous of the type of pictures that you post or like could be sexually attracted to it. So I just wanted to put that out there. Also, I just heard like family member for some of you, some of your family, I don't know if they follow you. You might have a family member who kind of comments on your pictures and it's just like, why do you have to post that kind of picture? Why do you, you know, so something like that just came through to me. Like a defensive older brother or something like that. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting like friend, I'm getting um, possibly family for this pile. And if it is in regards to a family member, it's not the whole sexual energy. It's more so the energy of um, admiring the fact that you're living your life, you're living your passions. It could even be the fact that your family is aware of your account, but doesn't follow you, but they see some of the stuff that you post and it, it bothers them. Um, and if it's not a family member and it's more so along the lines of a friend, for some of you, like I said, if you don't post... Um, sensual sexual type of pictures then it's more so the person is admiring your life you know there might be a touch of jealousy there but it's more admiration but if you do tend to post very glamorized or um revealing pictures or whatever and i'm not judging i'm not judging at all i'm just saying what i'm seeing um if you do happen to post those type of pictures then most likely the person i'm channeling for you is not the family member or like a platonic friend it's a secret admirer who is definitely definitely fantasizing about you but yeah that's all i'm seeing right now for pile two in regards to who's watching your social media and why um you know if you like the video please be sure to like comment and subscribe if you comment i make sure i read every comment and i do take my time to respond back um please keep in mind that this is a general reading for the collective so if you would like something more personal uh, please be sure to check out my Etsy shop. I have a wide variety of readings available and you can find the link for that in the description box below. All right, so for those of you who chose pile two, let's find out who is watching your social media and why. All right, so this is who and this is why. I feel like this is an older like parental figure um, or it could be like an older person in your life. Could even be like a teacher, could be, um, it feels like institutionalized in a sense. So it could be like a coworker, it could be a job. Um, it has an older feeling to this. For others of you, I feel like it could be someone you divorced from or broke up with. Could even be a friend that you cut out of your life so i'm getting the feeling of two different people now this could be two different people that you may happen to know of or maybe you resonate with just one of the people in this pile but i'm feeling like there's a younger energy here of someone who you might have cut off from gossip um maybe they were gossiping about you or something of that nature and there was some type of drama and you detached yourself from this person. Could even be something legal, could even be something that you're going through in regards to a court case or a divorce or something like that. And there was some type of break that you have with this person. I don't feel like you're in communication with this individual. Now, for this individual's energy that I'm picking up on, I feel like this is an older energy. I feel like this is um, a more professional feeling energy. And it's not necessarily professional, more um, formal energy. So it could be, like I said, it could be a parent. It could be like an older family figure in your life. It could be um, your boss or something. It's something formal about it, not very casual. And even with me saying that, the reason why I put parents into there is because a lot of the times we don't treat our parents necessarily how casually we would treat a friend or an acquaintance or something like that. So I feel like this is an authority figure in your life 
For some of you, it could even be an ex-teacher. Now, why they're watching you? I feel like this person is watching what you're working on, especially for some of you watching who happen to be like craftsmen or something like that. If you do something creative, if you're a jewelry maker or a woodworker or something, this person is watching your work. Um, some of you might be a student still, might be an apprentice to someone. For some of you, like I said, it could be your boss that's looking at your social media page. It's a very, for this energy here, it's a very, like I said, formal, professional type of energy. So I feel like, you know, this person is kind of observing you and it's like maybe they only know you in one certain way because I'm getting a sense with this hangman that they're seeing you in a new light. So they may only know you from work, may only know you from school, may only know you how you are when you come to the, you know, the family event, but they're seeing a whole nother side to you on your social media. Now, for those of you who you didn't resonate with the energy over here, this energy with the detached from drama, I'm getting a sense that this person is, for some of you trying to collect evidence on something. So if you are dealing with something court case related, please just keep that in mind. Uh, for others of you, this person is looking at your life, looking at your work, looking at what it is that you do. This person is watching your growth. I don't really like the energy of this second person right here. Um, I kind of heard in my head as I was looking at the hangman hang you out to dry. So I feel like this person might be looking for something to, I don't know, gossip on you about or start trouble about. So I feel like they're looking at your social media for that. And I, I don't really care for the energy of this person. Now, what this person wants you to know is Hello by Lionel Richie. So you might want to look that song up, but um, I feel like this person is hanging around your social media and I don't really feel like they want to reach out to you. I don't really feel like this is somebody who wants you to know they're watching you. I feel like this person just kind of wants to watch you from afar. And like I said, for some of you, it's just because they're realizing a different side to you. They're seeing you in a different way versus how they usually interact with you. Um, and for others of you who may relate to this person, they could just be trying to either observe your life or to start some drama. So I'm just getting a sense that this person, even though it says hello, I don't feel like they really want to communicate with you. They just want to keep watching. Some of you may have started a new job recently and this person is kind of peeking in on your new job. I just get a sense of like here, this person trying to be in your business. For some of you, you might be out of work for the moment because of something. And I feel like this person could either be trying, and it's interesting because I've had the energy kind of come through in all three decks so far of somebody like with work. Um, trying well maybe not all three decks maybe the last one i think i remember was trying to see like are you really out of work are you really hurt with work but um that's really coming through and i'm feeling it here some of you might actually be out of work or out of school or something because of the fact that you are actually um hurt or resting or something and i feel like this person is just over here this individual is just like checking in on you in a sense like just seeing how you're doing what you're up to some of you I heard like retire. Some of you might have retired and this person might be an old colleague or something who's just trying to like check in. For someone specific, something with Greece is standing out. So maybe you're going on a trip to Greece or you're from Greece, your family or something, but something with that is coming out. Two other things are really grabbing me. Um, I'm very drawn to this person's foot right here. So I feel like perhaps for some of you, something with your foot or your ankle, maybe you were injured. Um, that's really standing out. Also for somebody, it just hit me something with like some idea or something with a shoe. So maybe, um, I don't know, for some of you, maybe you want to start a shoe business or 
like there's a pair of shoes you really love or something like maybe your big thing is shoes heels or something and i don't know why that's standing out to me but i feel like something with that is is hitting me strongly also for someone here i'm getting something with like tattoos so i don't know if you've gotten a tattoo recently or if you get a lot of body work done or you're like being an apprentice for tattoos um but something like that is coming through For someone, I feel like something with church, possibly your preacher. Um, yeah, something like that is coming through to me, like like a holy figure. So you'll you'll know if it resonates to you, but I feel like this person um, might be checking in on your social media. Could even be like a counselor like i said this is a very formal energy could be like a counselor so if you dealt with addiction or any type of rehab or something um i feel like your counselor could possibly be checking in on you to make sure that you're staying on the up and up on the right track so yeah that's all that i'm picking up for pile three if this video resonated with you and you like it please be sure to like comment and subscribe i always take the time to read every comment and i do my best to make sure i reply back as well in regards to this video i am reading for the general collective so please only take what resonates for you i'm channeling a lot of different people so there's going to be certain things that don't resonate and that's absolutely fine if you would like a more personal reading i do offer those on a variety of topics in my etsy shop you can find the link for that in the description box below all right so for those of you who chose pile number four let's find out who's watching your social media and why so who we have choose peace and why the two of cups wow okay and so their message to you come on come on come on is beautiful by christina aguilera um it just hit me i felt like that song is important to somebody specifically like I understand this is the message card and you should listen to the song to see if something resonates with you further. But I feel like for somebody watching, that song is important to you in, re in relation to the person who's watching you. So I'm getting a very peaceful vibe here with this Choose Peace card. Um, I don't feel like some of the other decks that had, you know, some had a more aggressive energy or sneaky energy. With this one, I feel like this is somebody who really cares about you, who is watching your social media. This could be a family member. This could be a close friend. This could even be a lover, um, either someone that you're with now or could be someone who's interested in you or even an ex. In regards to this being an ex, I feel like this is a person who really wants to possibly reconciliate with you. Um, they think that you're beautiful. They love pretty much everything about you and so this person's energy is coming through in that type of way with this choose peace perhaps you've had like hard times with them in the past and they want to reconcile in a sense i'm also getting a sense this could be a family member that maybe you were estranged from someone who uh things have grown distant between and they would love to come back into your life they would love to be a part of your life i'm also getting a sense this could be a family member who um, family member could be a friend I feel like this is somebody who cares about you so in whatever sense that comes through um, I feel like this person wants to either reconcile or be a part of your life like they're watching the beautiful things that are happening you may have just gotten married you may have um, just found out you were pregnant uh, some type of good news I feel as though they're keeping tabs on your life and trying to be a part of the process let me pull a clarifier yeah this person um, just wants to share in what's going on in your life. They just want to kind of be a part of it in a sense, whether you're allowing them to be or not. You might not really talk to this person uh, for some of you in the day-to-day, the -day, like the physical. And so they're kind of taking what they can from your social media just to kind of be close to you. So that's coming through. I'm very drawn to the scales here. Could for some of you be um, an air sign, a Libra. There's also a lion here. So for some of you, something could be with Leo. I mean, it can technically be any sign, but I just want to point out like the symbols that are specifically standing out to me. 
but this could be someone that you did have hardships with and they're trying to choose peace now maybe they even perhaps reached out to you subtly they could actually be reaching out to you on social media making like little attempts but i'm getting a sense of this person wanting to be a part of your life wanting to reach out and right now they're kind of accepting tidbits of whatever they can see of your life from social media For someone specific, this is someone you helped out. Someone you really helped out when they were in need. And it could have been in a monetary type of way. It could have been um, an emotional, just being there for them type of way. Uh, there's, there's something about, for who I'm talking to specifically, there's something about you were there for me. When I didn't have anyone, when I when I needed support. And so this person, I feel like from time to time, checks in on your social media. This could also be someone who helped you out when it was a hard time in your life. And they're just checking in to see how you've been. Could be a mentor for some of you. It's someone, there's definitely love here. For some of you, I'm also getting a sense of like respect lots of respect you have a lot of respect for this person they have a lot of respect for you the relationship might not be casual enough for them to reach out to you um but i do feel and i don't want to say not reach out to you but for like them to closely interact with you but i do feel a sense of them like just wanting to see how you're doing uh you know wishing you well it's, it's positive energy i feel like they pop in and out of your social media you know they don't they don't stalk it but they just want to see that you're doing good and they send you well wishes and they keep it moving. Some of them might invite you to events, like important things that are going on, invite you out to certain stuff, make you aware of it. But other than that, this person, I feel like it's a very in and out type of energy. And if they're not inviting you to events and stuff, I get a sense that they're seeing that you're doing things. So if this happens to be like an estranged family member or an ex-lover or friend, they see how much you're socializing and, and blossoming as a person. Some of you, I also feel like this could be someone who is considering going into business with you or partnering with you on something. And they're just trying to see like who you are as a person and if this is a good decision. And I do feel like this person likes what they see. I also heard in my head like um, walk the talk. So for some of you, maybe you're trying to get like sponsorships for something and um, this person is just checking out, you know, your social media to see like, are you really about what you say you're about? For somebody very specific, very specific, um, this person is possibly a family member, like a distant family member or something connected to a family member who has just passed and they're looking to reach out to you in regards to something. It could be inheritance. It could be something with like a will. And so they're, they're looking at your social media in order to do that. And that's for somebody very specific. For someone specific also, if you had some type of um, exposure in regards to a health issue, like if you've done an article or you were interviewed for something or were the face of some type of campaign um, in regards to your health, perhaps you beat some type of um, something. You know, I do see that you're getting attention for that. I do see a lot of like loving, supportive attention coming through because of the fact that you're sharing your journey, what it is that you've overcome, what it is that you survived. Could be mental health. Like if you're a mental health advocate, something like that is coming through. It's a lot of peaceful energy here. I'm not, I'm not picking up anything crazy here. For some of you watching, it's someone who actually um, really would like to start a relationship with you, who's watching your social media, and they've possibly been following you for quite a while, watching you, you know, advance and grow, and um, not in a creepy way, not not like they've been watching you for so long, but um, they've been watching you for just a little bit and getting to know more about you, and I feel like this person thinks you're very beautiful. They like what they see. They like the fact that you seem to be a legit person, um, a supported person, a person who wants to support the world and give positivity back to it. And so I feel like this person, um, 
I don't feel like there's a lot of distance in this card as I did with some of the other decks. I feel like this person either has reached out or will reach out, but it's in very subtle ways. I feel like some of you in this pile may actually own social media pages that provide some type of um, guidance or insight to people. So maybe it's a business page, maybe it's a lifestyle page, a spiritual page, a, a healthy eating page, something to where you actually draw a lot of support to you. You know, this, this energy, like I said, is very supportive, is very peaceful. So there's quite a few people who are watching you who they just love, like when you post, they love listening to what it is you have to say, the, the tips that you give, the the peaks into your life and work that you show. So I'm definitely seeing something like that coming through. But yeah, that's all that I'm picking up for pile four. Thank you so much for watching. If this reading happened to resonate with you, I would love for you to tell me what resonated if you feel comfortable doing so in the comments below. I read all the comments and I make it my business to comment back to everyone that I can, which is usually everyone to be quite honest. I really make it my business and time to do so. Um, but yeah, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And keep in mind that this is a general reading for the collective, so I'm channeling a lot of different people in this reading. But if you would like a personal reading, I do provide those on a variety of topics, you know, love, career, life, um, etc. And you can find the link for that in the description box below. You can purchase that from my Etsy shop. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I hope you have a wonderful night, day, morning. Whatever time of the day it is when you're watching this, have a great one. Take care.